Does your right and left side not match perfectly? Watch this. Our next caller is Jeremy from Oregon. What's up, Jeremy? How can we help you? Hi there, guys. Uh, thanks for inviting me on. I just have a question about bone structure and muscle imbalances because my arms and legs on the left and right side are different lengths. And I'm wondering if that's like the root cause of muscle imbalances and how I should approach my workouts. Yeah, that's, a, consider that. that's a really good question. First off, how did you get diagnosed with your with the the differences in length in your right and, and left side and, and what 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 was the diagnosis? What was the cause of it? He's like no diagnosis. I just wear a size well, the size thirty two pad on one side, size thirty four <laughs> the other. Sal. <laughs> well, it's not it's not that significant, but you can notice the difference from like five feet away. Like it's they're noticeably different sizes. Well, no. Here like, here's oh, why yeah, I yeah. ask. Here's why I ask because uh, I remember I remember so years ago, early trainer. I had a client and she came in. She's like, oh my gosh, my uh, chiropractor said my right leg is, you know, an inch and a half longer than my left leg. Such a chiro yes. move. This and we went and looked and did the whole thing. And, and what it was is her QL, right? So this is a muscle that attaches to the hip was just shorter on one side because it was tight. So mm -hmm. if you Ooh. actually measured the limbs themselves, just the limbs themselves, and you measured them from the same kind of origin, then we saw mm -hmm. that they were actually the same length. So that's why I'm asking the question. So is this something you've had since you were a child? Was there scoliosis or an accident or something that caused this? Um, no accident, but it's been pr probably since I was like 13 or 14 that I noticed it. Okay. I would get it diagnosed officially, but I'm not saying you're wrong. I would do that also. But here's the, here's the answer to your question. Could that cause muscle imbalances? Well, we got to understand what a muscle imbalance is. Imbalance meaning, um, I, I guess we could loosely define it as less than optimal muscle recruitment patterns. If you do indeed have one side that's a one or two inches longer than the other side, then your muscles are going to acclimate themselves to help you move and perform in the best way possible with that particular context. Okay. Now, how would I train around that? I Everything I would do would be unilateral. Yep. So, and, and, and not unilateral at the same time, meaning I'm not going to do a dumbbell bench press with both dumbbells at the same time. That's that's going to give you a little bit of a benefit, but when one arm is an inch or two longer than the other and you press the dumbbells both up and one's higher than the other, now you're still going to have compensating effects. So I would do one arm at a time, one leg at a time. And what that'll do is that'll prevent some of these adaptations that you've already got, uh, probably just from you know living your life. So that's how I would train and that's how I would do all my workouts if that's the case. And the only thing I would add to that is uh, start with the weaker side. So whatever side is less dominant uh, of your arms and legs, start with that. Let that dictate how many reps that you do on the other side. So let the weaker side dictate how many reps uh, you do for the other one. But uh, that's exactly how I would train this person. If, the, if, if you are actually... Uh, you know, inches uh, off on them because we're all. By the way, we're all. Nobody is perfectly symmetrical. There's not mm -hmm. a human being on the face of this earth that uh, their left side is exactly the same as their right side. So we all have a little yeah. bit of this asymmetry going on. So uh, how much of it would really depend on how how much problems that it could cause? Uh, do you suffer from any uh, aches or pains or back problems, or do you have anything going yeah, on? Do you have to wear a Do you have to wear a a, a shoe lift on one side? Mm. No shoe lift, but I my left shoulder gets. A lot, like tweaked and injured pretty frequently. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I was just going to ask about your shoulders because it's going to go all the way up the kinetic chain totally. when we have these compensations. So, uh, do you notice too, like if you're in good posture, are you, uh, nice and symmetrically kind of square with your shoulders? Or are you kind of slouched a bit? I'm pretty symmetrical for the most part, okay. maybe a slight lean to the left. Okay, Jeremy. Yeah, I would go get an official diagnosis. Make sure the actual limbs themselves are longer and it's not coming from an, uh, you know one side being tight or, you know, like I can make one arm shorter than the other if one rhomboid is more, you know, activated and shortened versus the other, for example. I could do the same thing with my legs. Mm -hmm. So make sure it's an actual limb issue. Um, if it isn't, my advice is going to actually stay the same though with your training. I would still yeah. do one arm and one leg at a time and try and get them to kind of balance out. Now, I did okay. ask the question about the heel lift and all that. Just a little side note. If you've been walking your whole life without a heel lift, adding one now is going to cause you pain. So sometimes people are like, you know what? I'm going to add this heel lift because it's going to balance things out. Well, you now you're so used to walking one particular way. It's a long process before you know adding something is going to start to feel good. So consider that as well. For sure. 
And then would I would I just go to my regular doctor to get that checked out or like a chiropractor? No. No, avoid the chiropractor. Yeah, I would I would go I would go to your 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 doctor, your your GP and see if they who they recommend you 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 go through for these types of uh, assessments. Could we get like Luna in on this in terms of like a if if we could get a physical therapist, I, I would feel would have a better assessment of Yeah, this. a PT would actually be awesome. You know, you could go to getluna.com. If you have health insurance, your health insurance will cover it. You don't need a, a, a general practitioner referral. You can go directly mm. to them, and they'll come right to your house. And I would bring sure. this exact issue up with them, so you can have an expert actually diagnose you with, you know, with with yeah, what's, with something specialist. that'll be helpful. Yeah. Right on. That's getluna.com. That's it. Yep. Yep. I think getluna.com forward slash mind pump. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know if you need the forward slash mind pump. No. All right, just getluna.com. Yep. Thanks, Jeremy. Right on. Thank you, guys. No problem. Good one. No problem. Yeah, I've actually had more than one person come to me yep. and say, my chiropractor told me Same. my- he's, It's the old school chiro move. Oh. You know what I'm saying? It's the old school where they they pull, they pull do one of those like, uh, you know, yeah. the, the, they used to have the ones with all the strings in the back. You know, now the more sophisticated ones have like a computer animation that takes a picture of you yeah. and, they go, and then they bring you and they sit you down and they go, oh. It's like the old uh, gym move that we used to do. Uh, yeah. When people walk in, ooh, the gym's getting you. Oh. You know, what I'm <laughs> oh man, One come over. Is definitely come over here, sit down. Let me show you this prepaid membership I could sell. You know, oh, what I'm saying. Man. So it's the, it's the same thing. It's like, oh man, your your left side, you're like two inches off here. But let me, if we adjust your hips here and we do this, like come yeah. see me you know, three times, three I'm times a week. I'm percent next- sure it's probably what you said in terms of like a QL or something else that's like nice and tight and, and trying to you know compensate for something. Yeah, it's interesting because I mean it could be scoliosis, but see because. He's had no. I mean, it could be. He's got no pain though. He's not. He's not having any issues. And also, he has no official diagnosis. If you have yes. legit one side longer than the other since you're 13, I mean, I don't know how he grew up and what his situation was, but usually that's gonna it'll warrant a doctor visit at some point. Like, okay, mm-hmm. we gotta go to the doctor see what's going on. And then they'll measure things and say, okay, here we have a growth because that's a big asymmetry, right? So you're right. Nobody's perfectly sym- symmetrical, but you know, two inch difference in your yeah. arm and legs. That's substantial, yeah, substantial, and that could, you know, that could mean that there's something going on. It could be scoliosis. It could be, you know, issues with your bones and your growth, and who knows? So I, I would definitely, you know, have that looked at and make sure. But yeah, the the whole, I remember this this the way they measured her legs is she would she laid down on something, and then there was like you know like you could see like it you know measured out inches on each side. Oh, your right foot is longer than your one. Well, yeah, because her left side is all scrunched up. It's not her leg that's longer. Yeah. Yeah. You got to measure the leg, not the All whole. the muscles that are like rubber bands holding everything together, you know, that when that know. shifts and, and it's off a bit, it definitely changes your entire like structure and how you carry yourself. Yeah, it, you, you know, these, these tricks are so insidious. I remember one time going to the mall and I was... 17. You're talking about the arm one? Oh, dude, I I pissed the guy <laughs> off so bad. I was 17 years old, and they were selling. Do you guys remember when they were selling those bracelets yes, for the, baseball? The, the brass yeah, the ones. Magnets. Or, or the magnets. Yeah. Magnets, yeah. And they're like, you put this on, your performance is better, professional, this guy and that guy. And Johnny guy goes, Copper. The guy goes, come something. here, let me have you test this out. And he goes, watch this. He goes, stand on one leg, put your arm out. I did, and he pushed down, and I lost my balance. He goes, now put the bracelet on and try it again. And he did it again. I was better. And he goes, oh, the bracelet's amazing. And my friend's like, wow, it really worked. And I'm like... No, I tried it the first time. Yeah. You knocked me over. My body I knew got, it was coming now. Yeah, my body got better at it the second time. I'm like, nice, <laughs> nice try. He's so pissed off too when I said that. So <laughs> hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.